up everyone, it's Brian. I want to talk about how you can winterize your truck topper to make it more comfortable in the wintertime. Temperatures are starting to dip down pretty low in the high country here and we had temperatures at camp last night that dipped below freezing. So there's a few things that I do which are just simple tips that you could incorporate into your truck camping setup to make things more comfortable. So I think the first thing I want to talk about is some sort of weather seal or insulator for your cap then also for your truck bed. I use the bed bed rug for the, the truck bed here and then there's a, a a felt kind of liner that ARE attaches to the topper and you can see it, you know, it's on the roof and everything. And that helps just to kind of, um, you know, help keep the, the warmth inside that both myself and my dog Sierra create. And then also, it also helps as a good kind of uh, moisture um, absorber just a little bit because if you know if you're ca if you're camping in the cold especially below freezing temperatures in your truck topper and you don't have one of these felt liners the insulation liners then what's going to happen is is your breath is going to turn into condensation and your entire truck topper when you wake up in the morning will be lined with condensation it may even drip on you a little bit that happens to me in my four season tent if i don't vent it one thing that's nice about the truck toppers is you don't have to worry about venting it too much in the winter time because the seals in between where the truck topper sits on top of the truck bed, those seals don't tend to be 100% in line. So there is a little bit of an airflow that goes through there. So it's kind of nice because you can keep your windows somewhat closed, if not all the way closed, and still have fresh air rolling through. The drawback is, of course, that fresh air is cold. So I've thought about the second thing that I would do to make my truck camping experience a little bit more comfortable in the winter time is to take this bed rug, which what they do is when they apply it or, or they, they fit it on here, they just have these really heavy duty commercial strength uh, Velcro straps that don't necessarily hold out the air. <clears throat> they don't create a good barrier. So what I did was I took liquid nails and I created a seam. It's, this is all glued on here, the whole thing is. You can see there's a little bit of glue sticking up there. But I, I glued the entire bed rug to the bed of my Tacoma. And so that helped to really cut down on the, mo on the air that was coming up from on the underside of the bed rug, because this goes all the way around, you know, it goes the whole bed. The air would come up on the underside, and then I'd feel it coming, coming out here where there was a little gap. And so that's helped to really cut that down. I'd say it's, I'd say it's pretty much gone now. So that's nice. But there is just a little, little bit of a breeze that will come through, and it's real, real faint. But you can barely feel it if, like, the wind is blowing in this direction at night, and it's cold. You can put your hand up here, and you can feel a little bit of a breeze coming in. So, uh, what I would recommend in in that case is I'm, I'm actually thinking that I'm going to build some sort of uh, clamp that goes over here. And it's going to have insulation on the inside of it the, so it can block all this air that comes in. And I'll see how that works. So I'll get back to you guys on that one. But that's, that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing to help with the seal around there. Now, you also want to think that any sort of compartments that you have in your truck, such as the, the inverter that I have here or this compartment here, that'll let in a ton of air. Because if you look, when I pull this mosquito net out, those little vents go out to the ground. So that's 100% open to the outside. And you'll notice at night if the wind is blowing from this particular direction that the air coming through here, even with this thing on, I mean, this doesn't do anything to seal it up. It's barely anything. So uh, there's actually on, the, on my truck bed, there's, there's uh, compartments there. And then also on the other side here, but I want to show you what I did to help combat that for this evening. So I've got my yoga mat, which I use for, you know, obviously yoga and then like stretching and stuff like that. And then behind here is another compartment that is about about the same size as, as the inverter in that small compartment over there. And, you know, same thing. It's got the holes in the bottom that are open to the outside, so that's going to leak a ton of air. So what I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to test this out and see if it works, is I'm going to take... I, use, I have these reflective shades that I put up over my windows for the days when it's real hot or if I'm driving long distances, it just keeps the, the topper in here cool. And also too, it keeps the sun off my, my cooler so it keeps the ice longer. But I can take this as well and it's, it's a good reflector. You know, you can just take this and, and push this up against the side here 
And I've got some Velcro that I can push on there. Take it like that, and then I'll I'll take my yoga mat and put it back in place. And then I'll have my you know my my sleeping bag is going to be spread out over here, along with my sleeping pad. And I think that'll do a good job of keeping the air at bay because the air is coming. Uh, that's actually uphill, and it's that last night it was coming down this way all night, so I could feel a breeze right there. Um, another thing too is the Tacoma has these side compartments here, and I went ahead and cut out the the bed rug and I was I have not quite finished it yet but I need to insulate the rest of this so that's a problem area for me and I'm gonna go ahead and stuff some some clothes in there and get that all um, buttoned up for this evening so um, those are a few things that I'm gonna do to winterize my topper also too if you don't have like you know obviously I built this custom slide out frame for this extension and it has a I've got a, I use an air conditioning weather seal, which is a really great foam seal. If you need something to kind of block out the wind, that's, that's excellent. This is a, this is really, really useful and you can contort it and, um, you know, mold it to whatever you want, really. It's just foam. So, but you know, if you don't have that, I'd recommend, um, if you're not going to get a bed rug to get some sort of tailgate, um, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call it, but I guess maybe like a tailgate seal. Because, you know, I've, I've got it easy with this door. All I do is just shut it, and I, I made a good enough weather seal around it to where air doesn't really come in. But, you know, you got to think on the back of normal truck toppers, you know, it's just a tailgate, and then the window that comes down, well, those two things can leak a ton of air. So if you're truck camping, and, and let's say that, you know, you're noticing a lot of um, cold air coming in from the back, then look look to see if there's different products that you can add on to your truck topper window gate that comes up and down on the bottom side of it if you can add like foam to it or whatever that can contour to the the truck tailgate that you have and then get a weather seal for your truck tailgate uh, so when you close up the metal portion of it on both sides it'll it'll create a weather seal like you know right here like like let's say this was my truck bed and I close it up and then it creates a weather seal with this right here you know what I mean and that way you can you can button all these things up um, let's see what else. Oh, as far as far as just staying warm though, when you're when you're truck camping in the wintertime, I would say layer up. Uh, if you can use like a sleeping bag, and then if you if you have like some long underwear that you can wear uh, along with some socks, because your your feet can tend to get pretty cold in the wintertime when you're winter camping. Um, if you've got that, you're good to go. Also, too, like if you have an extra blanket tuck it inside your sleeping bag and then have that over you at, you know as you go to sleep and then you can pull the sleeping bag up and over you if it gets cold enough and then the you know the cold temperatures when they say like the lows are going to be let's say the lows going to be 27 it's usually not 27 until about 3 or 4 a.m and so you may go to bed comfortable but you you'll wake up pretty cold so layer up and then also wear a stocking cap especially for us guys that don't have hair anymore um, unfortunately in that club and so um, you know if you do those things it'll it'll keep you warm another thing that I've done in here is I have a small little candle lantern which I'll wrap in um, I think I, I wrapped it in reflectix that way the light doesn't get to me and stuff and the reflectix is, is far enough away from the candle where it won't burn it but I uh, did that and that that was actually a pretty good uh, way to stay warm in such a small space you know it's like just a little difference like that takes the edge off of any cold uh, cold weather another thing too is if you have the capability if you have like a yeti 400 or anything bigger than that or a secondary battery bank with an inverter you can run a uh, electric blanket and that's game changer because what you would do with the electric blanket is you'd actually lay it on the entire floor of your truck topper um, setup and then from there, you know, the heat would just radiate up like it would in, you know, in a, in a house that has the inflow radiant heating. So that's, that's like the best thing you could possibly do. And then there's propane heaters and stuff like that, but they kick out fumes and also a ton of condensation. So I'd recommend going with like a, a electric bat, electric blanket route. And, and it, I know people say, oh, it pulls too much, uh, pulls too much energy you can't do it with a battery yes you can I have plenty plenty of friends that do it so I have friends that do it with the Eddy 400 in the Midwest in the dead of winter and they run electric blankets all night long now you can you know you, you can get like a lower um, energy uh, output 
of an uh, electric blanket, one that doesn't use as much energy, so that can help conserve some of your battery time, but you can certainly run them. So uh, those are a few tips that I'd recommend for the truck topper. You know, just think like, layer up, that's the easiest thing to do. We all have extra layers that we can throw on for clothing. Incorporate that into your sleeping bag and you just stay pretty warm all night. Try to get some sort of liner for your truck topper to help cut down on the condensation that builds up and then also to provide extra insulation. Definitely get like a bed rug or some sort of tailgate seal in the back and then try to figure out any seams that are in your truck topping, uh, truck uh, topper camping setup. I'll try to say that 20 times. <laughs> Uh, and then if there's any seams, make sure to address those with some sort of weather seal. And I think it'll be pretty good to go. So um, just stay safe out there and use some common sense. Uh, like I said, probably wanna stay away from the propane heaters. At least, at least if you're gonna use them, turn them on just for a second and turn them off. Don't leave them running, especially in such a small space. You don't wanna you know, die of carbon monoxide poisoning. That would suck. So try to just think of things logically and, and um, just customize your setup in the way that, that best suits you. You know, if it's a bed rug, that's great. If that's all you need, you need something extra, throw on some extra layers. If it gets real cold out, but you still want to go truck camping, think about incorporating an electric blanket and you'll be good to go. So, all right. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. Have a good day.